winning horse, Jador is accustomed to having his picture taken. But perhaps no one captures his true spirit, like equine photographer Jessica Moore. I try and get them from their best angles and really um, when you're kind of trying to pique their interest and get their ears forward and get that alert eye and the little snort of the nose, it's kind of um, playing with them and finding what works for them. She snaps the prized Hanoverian, posing with his owner and rider, Audrey Humphrey. Regal against the scenic backdrop of Audrey's family property, Grey Cat Farm in Chichester. Good boy. From portraits to action shots. Jador shows off his skill and grace, captivating the camera. His neck is fabulous. He just, ha he's, when he's in the frame, oh my gosh, he looks incredible. Perfect. He's literally perfect. He's literally perfect. Perfection. Jessica became infatuated with horses at an early age, spending many summers at pony camp. I think every little girl loves ponies and collects, you know, briar horses. She drew inspiration from her father, an artist and photographer who taught her the workings of a camera. Good boy. Jessica's passion for horses, along with her deep knowledge, helps her create her visual masterpieces. Nailing that perfect shot is an art itself. No, her. <laughs> they often don't want to cooperate. Some are wonderful and will, happy to stand there all day long. Other ones say, oh, oh, there's grass over there, and <laughs> they'll be pulling or moving. Jessica comes armed with tricks and treats to manipulate her subject, noisemakers, and quick movements. Good boy. Often work. Mimicking a horse, another good technique. Yeah, can you even out the reins a tiny bit? When Jador loses focus, I give it a try. Shaking my umbrella, well, not working. He wanders from his mark. So when all else fails, grab some food. Of course, horses love apples and sugar cubes. Peppermint candies, the best. Just crinkling the wrapper grabs his attention. What does she have? What does she have? When I move a little closer, have? success. Magnificent. Perfect. Jador's reward, the peppermint, and I dubiously feed it to him. He's not going to bite me? No. 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 <laughs> so if you keep it flat, he's going to feel where it is spit on his lips. Though. But yeah, it'll be spit. But you, you know, can wash your Just yeah. keep it nice and flat, and he's, he's just going to kind of take it with his lips. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Jessica can touch up imperfections like stray hairs or runny noses back at her studio in Hopkinton. You never want to change the conformation of the horse, um, but you can go in and, and fix little things if they have, you know, some discoloration or an injury at the time. You can kind of spruce those up in Photoshop and really make them look their best. Painting horses allows Jessica to bring her photos to life even more. If the lighting's not great, I can change the lighting. I can change, you know, just about anything. I can make the sun hit their coat and make them shinier. Um, if their ears are pinned back, I can make their ears forward. I can make their eye a little more alert. Um, I can make their nostrils a little more flared. She uses colored pencils and oil paints, generally working from her own photos. It is very helpful to have a knowledge of their conformation, their bone structure, um, their musculature, so you, you really know what you're looking for. Out of her thousands of photos, Frisians, Arabians, Lusitanos, an Andalusian stallion stands out. I got him rearing and he is in the perfect position. He just looks absolutely incredible. The morning sun is hitting him so beautifully, he's just it's the, everything I've ever wanted in a photo. The equestrian world is all a buzz about Jessica's work. Even if you were the best photographer in the world, you would have to have a background in horses to combine to get the kind of shots that she gets because she knows 
if a horse is going to be naughty, if a horse is alert, if she needs to get a little bit more with the ears. She knows how to work around horses. She's not going to scare them, but she's going to get the best out of them and know how to react to get a good shot. Remember the portrait shoot with Audrey and Jador posing with the mountains off in the distance? Here's the photo, a masterful use of light, depth, dimension, and detail. It feels good to have people that I look up to, people with incredible horses who, you know, have had, you know, these stallions featured in magazines that, that they want my work is just so rewarding.